there could be a super volcanic category 7 eruption. That's the danger. We're talking about a sleeping Godzilla underneath Yellowstone. Oh my god, that's a super volcano that is a continent killer. Imagine a force so immense it could tear through the heart of America, ripping apart the very fabric of our nation. Yellowstone National Park, with its jaw-dropping attractions and breathtaking beauty, has always been a hotbed of excitement. But now, amidst the awe-inspiring landscapes and natural wonders, there's an extra reason to tread carefully. In the realm of scientific prophecy, few names resonate with as much authority and foresight as Michio Kaku. A renowned theoretical physicist and futurist, Kaku's predictions often transcend the boundaries of conventional wisdom, offering glimpses into the cosmic forces that shape our world. Michio Kaku has just delivered a chilling announcement. Yellowstone is on the brink of eruption. In the following years, the world may witness the unleashing of its fury, a cataclysmic event that could reshape the entire region. This restless Yellowstone caldera, living and breathing beneath the surface, holds secrets that have captivated scientists and adventurers for decades. Every once in a while, it stirs, reminding us of its immense power. Throughout history, Earth has been no stranger to cataclysmic events that have reshaped landscapes and altered the course of life itself. From ancient civilizations to modern societies, humanity has borne witness to the awesome power of nature's fury. Consider the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD, a tragedy immortalized in the destruction of Pompeii and Herculaneum. As a volcano erupted with unimaginable force, a deadly mixture of ash, pumice, and volcanic gases descended upon the unsuspecting cities below, burying them under a blanket of destruction. The horror of that day serves as a chilling reminder of the devastating consequences of volcanic activity. As we delve deeper into Michio Kaku's revelation, we can't help but marvel at the wonders of Yellowstone. The Grand Canyon, carved over millennia by the mighty Yellowstone River, stretches before us with its sheer cliffs and thundering waterfalls. Yet beneath its serene beauty lies a hidden danger, a reminder of its tumultuous forces at play. Mammoth Hot Springs, with its bubbling pools and steaming vents, is a testament to Earth's fiery embrace. Here, the ground trembles, a warning of the chaos that lurks beneath the surface. And then there's the Upper Geyser Basin, a geothermal wonderland teeming with life. But amidst the spectacle of erupting geysers and bubbling mud pots, a sinister truth emerges. Yellowstone's close connection to volcanoes, the very forces that shape its landscape, could spell disaster for us all. But just when we thought we had seen it all, a twist of fate throws Yellowstone into chaos. In the span of a mere 24 hours, a colossal crack appears in Teton, a stark reminder of the power that lies dormant beneath our feet. The park authorities are on high alert, racing against time to unravel the mystery and understand the implications for the surrounding landscape. As the clock ticks, the suspense mounts. Will Yellowstone's fury be unleashed, tearing apart the very fabric of our world? Or will we stand strong in the face of adversity, confronting the terror that grips this majestic park? Amidst the towering peaks of the Teton Range lies a story of resilience and danger, where the forces of nature clash in an epic battle of strength and fragility. Teton is no stranger to volcanic activity, shaped by four geological factors that make it a formidable force to reckon with. From tough hard rocks to dynamic forces of destruction, the Tetons stand as Wyoming's youngest range, a testament to their enduring toughness against the relentless passage of time. But beneath this rugged exterior lies a vulnerability, a vulnerability exploited by the relentless forces of nature. Water seeps into the surface, freezing and expanding, prying away at the rock one tiny step at a time. This process, known as frost wedging, is the precursor to disaster, as slabs of rock tip and fall, cascading down the mountainsides in a relentless dance of destruction. As these rocks make their tumultuous journey, they encounter obstacles and challenges, breaking into fragments that flow like a river of destruction towards the valley below. Snow avalanches add to the chaos, carrying loose rocks and debris in their icy embrace, leaving scars on the landscape that serve as a reminder of nature's awesome power. But amidst this ever-changing landscape lies a sinister truth, a truth that has experts on high alert. Expanding cracks in the rock, 
closely monitored for any signs of movement, serve as a chilling reminder of the impending danger lurking beneath the surface. For Yellowstone is recharging, its magma chambers filling up with molten rock from deep within the Earth's crust. The countdown has begun, a countdown to the eruption that could unleash an unimaginable cataclysm, sending volcanic rock hurtling into the atmosphere with devastating force. As researchers delve deeper into the heart of Yellowstone, injecting radioactive isotopes into its hot springs to measure the magma's recharge, the tension mounts. Will the Yellowstone caldera awaken from its slumber, unleashing its destructive power upon the world? Or will we be left to ponder the fragility of our existence in the face of nature's awesome might? In the heart of the Teton Range, amidst the rugged beauty of the landscape, lies a story of resilience and danger, a story that reminds us of the awesome power of nature and the fragility of our world. Deep beneath the serene surface of Yellowstone National Park lies a ticking time bomb, waiting to unleash its destructive power upon the unsuspecting world. But how did this once dormant volcano become a harbinger of catastrophe? It all begins with the Yellowstone hotspot, a geologic phenomenon of unparalleled intensity lurking beneath the Earth's crust. This stationary hotspot, fueled by a vertical column of scorching hot rock rising from the depths of the planet, has shaped the landscape of the northwestern United States over millions of years. As the North American tectonic plates drifts across the hotspot, it leaves a trail of volcanic activity in its wake, marking the journey with extinct volcanic centers from Oregon through Idaho and into Wyoming. Among these landmarks, Yellowstone stands as the most prominent and recent manifestation of the hotspot's fiery legacy. But Yellowstone is not just any volcano. It's a supervolcano, a behemoth capable of cataclysmic eruptions that can reshape continents. And lurking beneath its tranquil facade lies a subterranean cauldron of molten rock, fueled by the relentless energy of the hotspot. Researchers studying this region have made a chilling discovery. Previous studies underestimated the magnitude of the volcanic activity brewing beneath Yellowstone. The amount of water and heat flowing through the park's hot springs is staggering, turning what was once thought to be a dormant volcano into a ticking time bomb. Scientists warn that it's only a matter of time before Yellowstone awakens from its slumber and unleashes a Category 8 eruption, an event that could devastate the entire country. This is not just speculation. It's a grim reality based on the geological evidence and the ominous signs of increasing volcanic activity. But Yellowstone's reach extends far beyond its borders. The hotspot has left a trail of volcanic features and past eruptions throughout the region, from the Snake River Plain in southern Idaho to the Craters of the Moon National Monument and Preserve. These landscapes bear witness to the hotspot's tumultuous history, a history marked by periods of intense volcanic activity interspersed with long periods of relative quiescence. As we gaze upon the tranquil beauty of Yellowstone National Park, let's not forget the fiery inferno that lies beneath, a reminder of nature's awesome power and the fragile balance upon which our world rests. The Yellowstone hotspot has long fascinated scientists and geologists, offering a unique glimpse into the inner workings of our planet. But recent developments have sent shockwaves throughout the scientific community, raising fears of an impending catastrophe. For months now, Yellowstone National Park has been showing ominous signs of unrest. The ground beneath our feet is rising, a clear indication of the colossal forces at play deep within the Earth. But perhaps even more alarming is the movement of a massive 465-mile-long molten rock directly beneath the park's surface. Adding to the tension, the park's iconic geysers have been more active than ever before, hinting at the tremendous pressure building beneath the surface. Could all these signs be pointing towards an inevitable eruption? Picture this. Mount St. Helens' eruption in 1980 was merely a sneeze compared to what Yellowstone could unleash. We're talking about a super eruption, registering a magnitude of 8 or higher on the Volcano Explosivity Index. This would eject at least 1,000 cubic kilometers of material, enough to bury the entire state of Texas five feet under. And this isn't just speculation. Yellowstone has erupted three times before, with the last eruption creating the massive Yellowstone caldera, a depression measuring 34 miles by 50 miles. But Yellowstone isn't the only supervolcano lurking on Earth. Geologists have uncovered evidence of at least 47 super eruptions throughout history, with the most recent occurring 26,000 years ago in New Zealand. In a desperate bid to prevent a catastrophic eruption, 
NASA has proposed a daring plan, drilling six miles into the supervolcano and pumping in high-pressure water to cool it down. The hope is to use the heat as a resource for a geothermal power plant, offsetting the cost of the mission. However, drilling into the magma chamber carries immense risks and could potentially trigger the very eruption they seek to prevent. Even if the plan were successful, it would take tens of thousands of years to fully cool the supervolcano, with no guarantees of success. The stakes couldn't be higher as scientists grapple with the terrifying prospect of a Yellowstone super eruption. The stakes couldn't be higher. If NASA's bold plan to prevent a Yellowstone eruption fails, we're staring down the barrel of a disaster of unprecedented proportions. Scientists, armed with historical data and advanced modeling, have painted a grim picture of what could unfold. Imagine this. A super eruption at Yellowstone would blanket the northern Rockies with a staggering three feet of ash. The chaos would be unimaginable across Wyoming, Idaho, Colorado, Montana, and Utah. And it doesn't stop there. The Midwest would be hit with several inches of ash, and while the coasts would fare slightly better, even a few inches of this volcanic menace can wreak havoc. Buildings would crumble, roadways would be impassable, and respiratory problems would skyrocket. Power lines would be disrupted, transformers shorted out, and North America's air travel brought to a grinding halt. Imagine being stranded without a flight for who knows how long. But the impact doesn't end there. A super eruption like this would have global consequences. The massive release of sulfur aerosols into the atmosphere would form a protective shield, reflecting sunlight back into space and cooling the planet. This cooling effect might sound like nature's own air conditioning, but on a global scale, it could spell disaster. Just look at the eruption of Mount Pinatubo in 1991. The planet's average temperature dropped by about one degree Celsius for several years following the eruption, leading to widespread disruptions in weather patterns and agricultural productivity. And let's not forget the year without a summer following the eruption of Mount Tambora in 1815. Crops failed, food shortages ensued, and famines ravaged various regions. So if Yellowstone were to blow its top in a super eruption, the consequences would be felt far beyond its immediate vicinity. It could disrupt ecosystems, harm food production, and impact human livelihoods on a global scale. The clock is ticking, and the fate of Yellowstone hangs in the balance. In the world of science, predictions and warnings can sometimes feel like a double-edged sword. Dr. Michio Kaku, a renowned physicist, has been sounding the alarm about Yellowstone's impending eruptions since 2023. He assures us that we'll have advanced warnings and several weeks to evacuate if such an unlikely event were to occur. But are we really paying attention to the signs that have been manifesting right before our eyes? In 2018 alone, the Steamboat Geyser, the world's tallest active geyser, erupted a staggering 32 times, shattering all historical records. Even the Excelsior Geyser, dormant since 1957, unexpectedly erupted, spewing out debris from the 1930s. And the ground beneath Yellowstone has been steadily rising for years, accompanied by over 121 earthquakes in December alone. It's a chilling reminder that our planet is becoming increasingly unstable, and the signs are impossible to ignore. Yet experts continue to reassure the public that everything will be all right. But the truth is, with each passing year, the Earth's tremors grow more pronounced, and countless lives hang in the balance. It's a dire situation, but perhaps Dr. Kaku's advice offers a glimmer of hope. At the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, scientists from around the globe have rallied together, working tirelessly to stay ahead of the eruption. They employ a myriad of tools, from ground-based monitoring stations to satellite imagery. To track Yellowstone Caldera's activity, seismometers, measuring tremors and vibrations, provide critical data on magma movement deep beneath the Earth's surface. But it doesn't stop there. Scientists meticulously monitor the temperature and chemistry of Yellowstone's geothermal features, such as hot springs and geysers, to gauge the threat level. Volcanic gases, like sulfur oxide and carbon dioxide, are analyzed to gain insight into the behavior of the magma chamber. Despite these challenges, the team remains steadfast in their mission to understand Yellowstone's complex dynamics. Their work, coupled with real-time monitoring and alerts, aims to ensure the safety of millions who visit Yellowstone National Park each year. Because in the end, it's not just about surviving a Yellowstone eruption. It's about preserving life on our planet. 
The stakes couldn't be higher, and every effort, every warning, could mean the difference between life and death. So as we face the uncertainty of what lies ahead, let's heed the warnings, stay vigilant, and hope for the best. As the world grapples with the looming threat of a Yellowstone supereruption, the collective imagination churns with ideas and proposals aimed at averting catastrophe. From the halls of academia to the corridors of power, experts and policymakers brainstorm, debate, and dissect every conceivable strategy in a desperate bid to outsmart nature's wrath. Early warning systems emerge as a popular proposal, heralded as the beacon of hope in the face of impending doom. Advanced seismic monitoring networks, satellite imaging, and cutting-edge technology promise to provide timely alerts, allowing for swift evacuation and mitigation efforts. It's a tantalizing prospect, offering a glimmer of hope amidst the encroaching darkness. Evacuation plans are meticulously crafted, with contingency measures and emergency protocols designed to minimize casualties and facilitate swift relocation. Populations in high-risk zones are identified, evacuation routes mapped out, and shelters prepared to accommodate the displaced. It's a logistical masterpiece, orchestrated with military precision to ensure the safety and well-being of millions. Geoengineering emerges as the wild card in humanity's deck of survival strategies. Bold and audacious, it promises to harness the power of science to tame the fury of a supervolcano. From injecting sulfur aerosols into the stratosphere to creating artificial barriers to contain volcanic ash, the possibilities are as endless as they are ambitious. It's a gamble to be sure, but in the face of impending catastrophe, desperate times call for desperate measures. But alas, as the ground beneath Yellowstone continues to rumble and the molten heart of the earth churns relentlessly, doubts begin to seep into the collective consciousness. The reality is harsh and unforgiving. Despite our best intentions and most audacious endeavors, humanity stands powerless in the face of nature's wrath. Early warning systems, touted as the panacea for disaster, falter in the face of uncertainty. Seismic activity is unpredictable, and the signs of impending doom are shrouded in ambiguity. False alarms and erroneous predictions sow confusion and panic, undermining public trust and sowing discord in the ranks of those tasked with safeguarding the populace. Evacuation plans, meticulously crafted though they may be, are no match for the sheer scale and magnitude of a Yellowstone supereruption. The logistics of relocating millions of people in a matter of weeks strained the limits of human ingenuity, while the sheer chaos and panic that accompany such an event render even the best laid plans obsolete. Geoengineering, once hailed as humanity's last hope, proves to be a double-edged sword. Artificial barriers crumble under the relentless onslaught of molten rock and volcanic ash, while attempts to manipulate the Earth's atmosphere only serve to exacerbate the crisis. Desperate gambits to contain the fury of a supervolcano only succeed in unleashing chaos on an unprecedented scale, plunging humanity further into the abyss. And so, as the world teeters on the brink of oblivion, humanity finds itself at a crossroads. The solutions that once held such promise now lie shattered and broken, leaving us to confront the stark reality of our own limitations. In the end, as the countdown to catastrophe takes ever closer, we are left with more questions than answers. The fate of millions hangs in the balance, and the specter of disaster looms large on the horizon. Welcome to the edge of oblivion, where every breath could be our last, and every decision carries the weight of eternity. If you found this video insightful, please give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, stay safe, stay informed, and most important, stay curious.